want to uh, take a steam bath and run away. 350. I thought it was only two. It's weekend. Friday. It's always 350 on weekends. Mm. Here's your key. Thanks. Hey, you forgot your towel and robe and slippers. Oh, thanks. Say, is there a place around here where I could get a cup of coffee to take with me? Yeah, right over there, on the right. But you can't take any drinks up to your room. <laughs> well, thanks anyway. Is there any valuables you want to check? Anything over five bucks? Why's that? Well, you can't trust your own mother these days. How are you going to trust a recent acquaintance? Oh, I see what you mean. I guess I'll leave my Just ring. Put them in there. And my uh, wallet. Very good. Oh, 
sure I didn't even know it. Okay, just remember. I'm here a lot. Oh, sure. At least four times a week. This is my first time here. You said that before. Oh, I'm sorry. I have a tendency to repeat myself when I get nervous. Why are you so nervous? Because this is my first time here. <laughs> Don't know what to do. Well, here. Have a cigarette. Oh, no, thank you. I, I don't smoke. I never did care for the taste of smoke. I find it very unwholesome. For me, that is. But I just never did care for the taste of it. But you go ahead and smoke if you like. I don't care if other people smoke. Are you comfortable in that chair? Oh, yes. Thank you. You look so hard and soft like. Oh, I am very. But thank you for being so considerate. Hey, Sam, they're working you hard tonight. Well, it's not too bad. There's just a few pride on me. Well, don't work too hard. Yeah, take it easy. Will you tell me something? What are you supposed to do? I don't understand what you mean. Well, what I mean is, uh, how are you supposed to get to know somebody? I mean, I went to the shower room, I went to the steam room, and everyone was running around so much they didn't even notice me. It's nothing. You just go to your room and you lie down in bed. Look at that suit that he made a dick like a cabral on me. This is no place to jack girls. You can go to pan pants for that. <laughs> well, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, you, uh, you go to your room and you get into bed and, uh, you have to leave the door open, though, what? Well, uh, that's very important. They'll think you're busy. I didn't know it was that simple. Oh, there's nothing to it, really. <laughs> I hope I'm not taking out your time, I mean, if you're such a few brothers. No, not necessarily yet. Anybody has to leave. Coffee and coffee. <laughs> Would you, would you like some coffee? There's a restaurant downstairs, I can go right down and bring it up. And they don't allow you to bring anything up to the rooms. Oh, I'll sneak it up somehow, okay? Okay, I guess so. I'll be right back. Oh. Oh, 
big slab. Yeah. I'm picking in here anymore. You are. That's not me. I'm picking in here in someone else's room. And they are privacy. Oh. <laughs> I knew it. I can always sense when someone's looking at me. <laughs> in this thing. Did you see that queen that just went by? My dear, she was at that drag ball last week, and I tell you, a gold lame jumpsuit, six-inch needles, and earrings down to her shoulders. What? The queen's were an uproar. <laughs> God, she liked to pluck my nerves. Correct, Jeff. Oh, listen, I'll see you later, Tabby. I'm tipping. Did you see that number that just went by? I decided I don't like this place at all. <laughs> it's like a hello for men. An insane asylum for a mad homosexual. I don't belong here. Some of those boys were giggling and whispering about me in the hallway. Whatever possessed you to come then? Oh, I heard so much about the bats. They're famous, you know. They seem to be quite famous. And an awful lot of people come. <laughs> Did you come because of that? Yes, I suppose so. No. I came to get away from my wife. I want a long night vacation away from my wife. I came to see what they were like. I heard it was an adventure. Every time. I thought you said you came here four times a week. <laughs> I did, didn't I? Well, I was lying to you. This is my first time here. And the first time I've ever taken a steam bath. Except once, when I was little. I took one in my grandmother's bathroom. Yeah. How did you do that? I turned on the hot water in the shower, full blast, and I closed the window. In a few minutes, the room was full of steam. <laughs> it wasn't quite as effective as the ones here, though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kathy, come here. I just come down from three, honey, and I was wrecked. Well, this trick and I, we were making it. And then my hands were going in every direction. And then I heard a clunk. Well, he popped out of bed and switched on that light. And then there was a pair of false teeth lying on the floor. Can you believe that, Miss Thing? I must have knocked his giddy teeth right out of his mouth. Here comes the floor, Miss Thing. Let's tip. Come on. I just had to have one night's vacation away from home. That's all. I couldn't stand it anymore. Sitting at home doing nothing? I needed something different. Watching television, getting up for work, going to sleep, watching television. That's all I've been doing now for years. I needed a vacation. I haven't had one in two years. It's more than I haven't taken one before. Don't you have any friends to go out with? Not anymore. Just like I don't even have a wife anymore. But that doesn't matter. Did you ever try to make love to a woman with curlers, metal curlers wrapped all over her head and cold cream spots all over her face? I can't imagine myself even attempting it. Good for you. Oh, my wife, every night has a head full of them and a face full of lard. In the morning, when she pours my coffee, she has a perfect line right across her forehead. She puts that hairline, that hairline, so goddamn tight that I can't even get my finger under it. Then, when I come home from work, she's off to the club meetings, and she leaves my dinner nicely wrapped in cellophane paper. She comes home at night, she uh, starts putting her hair rollers and slapping on the line. The same routine now for more than 19 years. It doesn't sound... Very exciting. What do you uh, get out of being married all those years when you have no communication? When you don't give one another something? Well, she used to give me something, something beautiful. But that's all gone now. <laughs> Did you say you were tipping on down to one or three? <laughs> yes, I thought I'd see you down the block. <laughs> yeah, well, I think I'll go with you on sales for the night. Oh, oh, honey, did you catch that one? It's enough to make a girl drop her bee. Oh, well, I'll see you later, Miss Barrett. I'm going to go with this thing. Yeah. 
Pretty feet, Thomas. I always like wolf-shaped feet. You mind if I do something? Guess so. Sit down. restaurant, and part of my job was to clean out the johns. Well, these women would leave those things all over the place. Some of them even flushed them down the toilets. They stuffed the toilets up with them and the water would be all over. And I'd have to take this long pole-like thing and pull them out. Mm. It really used to make me sick. Well, I finally quit working there. I just couldn't take it. I really was quite disgusting. 
Hey, Miss Paris, where'd you get that shirt, honey? It's a good work. Do you like it? I mocked it out of the shop on Grand Chapman. Well, all right, honey. You can mock me one, too. Just like it any time. It's really together, girl. I know. May I touch your face, Thomas? I just want to put my hand on your skin. Soft, extremely soft, like a young boy. My son Billy had soft skin. Like a butterfly. What happened to it? He died. Oh, forgive me, Mr. Jaffe. I didn't... A year ago today, he died. He was on the high school football team and they were touring the Southern States. He played one of them. Alabama. Just one. He wanted to be a famous football star someday. He had lots of hopes. And he was good, extremely good. His body was strong and healthy. It could take the hard work and training it takes to make a top football star and play in one of the big leagues. Handsome. Was he ever handsome? Girls used to call him to make dates, he was so good looking. One of the most fantastic things about his beauty was his skin. It was so soft. When Billy was a little boy, we had to be so careful about what he ate. Otherwise he'd break out and rashes all over his body. He didn't look anything like Isabella or me. People used to joke about that. They used to say Isabella had a secret admirer somewhere that nobody knew about. He went swimming in this lake one afternoon with two of his buddies. Billy dived in first. It was only seconds later they realized he hadn't come up. They said it was like a big vacuum had sucked him under. They panicked and started shouting for help. But later that afternoon, they drained the lake. They found thousands of snakes coiled around each other. And Billy. There were chunks of flesh written out of him. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. We had him brought back home for the funeral. There were more than 200 people there. The football team he played with, his teachers and friends. They all sent him flowers. Millions of dead flowers. I had them all burned. I never liked lilies and wreaths and flowers marked with death. He had one flower. A beautiful, golden, 
sunflower. Come on in. <laughs> 